Hey guys, it's Bowsy Wowsy here, and today we're doing a tutorial on this gorgeous butterfly wing ship. I got some really cute curly cues, a little leaf cover, and these beautiful butterfly wings as sails for our ship. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what you're going to need for the build. Stripped spruce logs, planks, and stairs. Stripped birch logs, planks, and stairs. Magenta and purple wool magenta and green concrete, sea lanterns, iron bars, lanterns, quartz slabs, blue and lime terracotta. So before we get started on our base, I'm just gonna let you know that we're going to make a general shape first. Once we've finished the body of the ship, then we'll come back and add all the fiddly little details of the stairs. So with your spruce planks, come out two. This is the front of the ship. And here on this diagonal is a spruce log. Fill it in in between there. One, two, three. And you can fill in all between those. Again, two spruce logs. One, two, three. And another spruce log. Okay, from here, you come out one. Okay. And then one, two, three, one, two. And there you have is the back. That's the first layer. Second layer, working from the front, a helper block here so that you can come out to two other helper blocks so that you can again come out to a helper block to get into this space here. Bring all of your logs up one. Go ahead and add spruce in between them. Okay, now the back here, we're gonna come out one, two, and a helper block here, so we can come out one, two, one, two, and a helper block here, one, two. Okay, and that's the back. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad guys, just one on there, not two, just one. Row three, switch over to spruce planks. From here, place one, two, three, one, two, three, one block there. Make a little indentation, oops, wrong spot. Helper block there, make a little L shape. Helper block there, and a little L shape like this. Okay, bring your spruce logs up, not these middle ones, just the outer ones. Okay, and in between those, fill in with uh, birch planks. Okay, on the end here, we're gonna come one, two, and then one, two. Okay, so you make a little shape like that. And then here, we're going to come one, two, one, two, helper block, and Let's see here. Oh, you keep actually keep that helper block. So now you have your third layer done. Okay, go ahead and bring your logs up by one. Let's go ahead and add in our windows. So we have one here and one here. All right, skip two, so one, two, and another window, one, two, and another window. Again, one, two, a window, one, two, a window. All right, from here, we're gonna come out with two birch planks like this, uh, one on the diagonal. All right, here, you're going to want your pink or your magenta concrete. Go ahead and fill in two blocks like that. We're gonna make another little shape like this out of birch. One, see like that, one magenta block and one birch block like this. In between the logs here, you can fill all of the floor 
with quartz slabs until you reach this last log here that we've brought up. For the back here, go ahead and put two birch planks, one magenta, two birch planks like this, another magenta, two magentas, or I'm sorry, two birch planks like this, a magenta, and a birch plank. Okay, copy that over to the other side. Okay, and there you have the back. Now fill in with the quartz. For the next row above this block here is a magenta, a helper block here, so you can come down two, Oops, like that. On the diagonal, another magenta, a birch block here and there, two birch that come down like this, and then fill in with birch all the way down until we hit that magenta block. We will be replacing a couple of things. This is just to make it easy to build. Coming back over here, over the tops of your windows, go ahead and just replace those blocks with some spruce logs. Just um, are on the top of this window only, of your middle window, because this block is actually a, a spruce log as well. So that's how it should be looking on each side. On the back here, remove this last spru uh, birch block and three magentas like this and just come diagonally around, just like that. Now we're gonna add our quartz in and we just, kind we just come along the bottom like this so that nothing can spawn on there and just kind of come around your whole ship. Working at the front here, we're going to add our curly Q. So with this first magenta block that you already have, another one on top, over, up again, a helper block to go diagonally, out three, another helper block to go a diagonal, two, helper block to go diagonal in, and like that. Okay, you're gonna want an iron bar and lanterns, and just one iron bar with a lantern. At the back, this is what it should be looking like right now. Up one, over one. Use a helper block to come diagonally. That's two blocks. Helper block to come diagonal again. Up three, one, two, three. Helper block to go diagonally, three blocks. Diagonal one, and diagonal one. Use an iron bar with a lantern. And the other curly Q, let's go ahead and add that in. Helper block to go diagonally, two. Helper block to go up, two. And again, two. In three, diagonally, one, two, three. Diagonally, three like this. Two, down, and down one with one iron bar and a lantern. Go ahead and add our leaf cover. Just gonna make a little cross shape like this. And from under here is a spruce fence. Come down two, over and down. And that's the little stem. Now we're gonna go up on the diagonal, one like this. In between those are lime terracottas and on the edge like this. Okay, a lime terracotta here in the middle. Two green concretes on the side. Three lime terracottas. And now we're gonna come back down. Uh, that is supposed to be 
a lime terracotta like this and a piece here. That's what your leaf should be looking like. Let's go ahead and put the mast in. It actually goes right here in this block in front of the last leaf block. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna leave that there for now until we start working on other things, but just giving you an idea of where that goes. Let's go ahead and add all those little fiddly details of the stairs. Working on our very first layer, replacing here and all the blocks in between the logs. At the back here, again, just like this, and copy that around. Just wanna mention, notice that this front block here of the first layer did not get replaced. Okay, working on the second layer, a stair there, and we're gonna need a helper block. I'm gonna do that so that I remember to take it out later, and a block there. Copy that on the other side. At the back here, this, and this. Working on the birch layer now, we'll start here at the front and around like this. Oops, wrong block. This block as well, you're gonna need a helper block there. And this block here butting up against the log facing out. All along under the windows, go ahead and replace with as well as these edges. Go ahead and create one of these blocks like this by instead of placing like that, you place into it. This block underneath the magenta is replaced by a stair as well. And this block again under the magenta replaced by a stair as well. This block here is a stair. And I'm gonna do the other side with you guys since it is a little bit complicated. This block. This block. And these two blocks. And again, all under the windows. Only one more layer to go. Last layer here, a stair there, stairs here. At the back, a stair there, here and here. So again, next to the magenta blocks. And inside here, we are gonna replace a couple things with stairs. Just these blocks here in between the logs, go ahead and replace with stairs. Let's go ahead and work on these side curlies here, the purple curls. These are with uh, purple concrete. And we go up two on that one. And then again, we're gonna come up at a diagonal above this over three, a diagonal down one, again, a diagonal. We're gonna come up two here, a helper block, two, diagonal one. And we're gonna come in one right here, add your iron bars and lantern. And we're gonna repeat uh, the iron bars here and the lantern right there. I'm gonna repeat this over on the other side. Okay, replacing this block right here next to the window. That's two over two at a diagonal one and in one here with again, lantern following this curve down up one, 
one, two, three, down two, one, and one like that with the iron bar and lantern. So now you have your curly cues on the side of your ship. We're gonna work on the rest of the mast here. This is the front. We have six blocks here, and now we're gonna go in one like this, and we're gonna go up five, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna come in again, and we're gonna go up four this time, three and four. Go ahead and go up two more. Go ahead and go up three more, and then come again up one, two, and three. This is what your mast is gonna look like if you compare it. Over to this side, you can see that that really tall piece will get hidden in the wing. And now we can get started on our wings. Okay, starting at this piece of the mast, the top of your six, come two blocks and add a purple, or I'm sorry, a blue, which is purple colored terracotta. One on this side, and come across four more. So you're gonna have a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the base of the first wing. Next, we are going to add one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. For this next row, we're gonna come up one on this end and three over, so that's four total. We're gonna pop out one this way. That's four purples, uh, wool. Here is a sea lantern. And then one, two. Next row, up one here. That's another pop out there. And one, two, three, four. Here at the diagonal, one, two. And we're just gonna come swing back around this way. One, two, like this. One purple there and two like that. Let's finish this edge up. This edge is one, two, three, and four. Actually, my bad, that's just one, two, three. I use pictures when I do these tutorials and sometimes I, these are hard to count. Working on the next layer here, we have purple, purple, and blue. On a diagonal here, we have another one. And again, like this, and we're gonna come one, two, three, purple, and see here, looking at my pictures, one, two, three, four purples in the middle, and we're gonna come out four blues like this, a blue on the diagonal, a sea lantern here, and then out two. Next layer, we have two purples like this, on the diagonal like that. Go ahead and connect these two. We're gonna work to here so that you have a nice little diagonal line. Purple, purple. And uh, this is three purples here, one, two, three. And we're gonna switch over to our magenta. Come all the way out. Connect these two up here and just fill that in. Next row, working on the other side of the wing, we have one, one, two, like this, one, two, like this, one, two, one, two, three. I believe this is four magentas here. Connect that one up and fill that in there. Out one, so this is out four purples a sea lantern here, and a blue, I'm sorry, those are blues, and blue there. 
Next layer here, what we're going to do is start on this side. It's just easier for me to see the pictures like this purple. I believe this is one, two, three magentas, two blues, magenta. And now we're going to come back this way, leave one showing. We're going to do a purple on the diagonal, one, two, a purple again on the diagonal, and one, two, blues. Okay, on top of this purple here, one, two, three blues on the diagonal with a helper block. Go ahead and come across with this purple for two blues. And we're going to go with three magentas, two purples. Uh, here on the diagonal with a helper block, one blue, one sea lantern, one blue. Starting on this third blue here, go up and out this way. Okay, um, over the top here of this blue, we're going to come with the cross with the purple. Okay, coming backwards again, just come across oh, to over the top of the sea lantern, that's four blue there. And just to finish this one off, just connect those pieces. And now you have the first wing done. Now what I've done is I've come back behind the wing here. We're looking at this really tall piece of mast. And what we're going to do is we're going to count four. One, two, three, four. Okay, over the top of this one here is where the bottom of your second uh, wing starts. Okay, so that's where it's going to go and where we're going to work. From this piece here, we're going to come to this way, okay, to this way, to the right, and four uh, to the left. So you should have a total of seven blues. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, from there, one blue, out two, or a three, but I think it's two. I'll fix it if we need to. Another blue, one, two, three, four purples, and over two blues. For this next row here, above the sea lantern on the diagonal is a purple, a blue here, a sea lantern there, and out two blues, two blues this way. You can replace this block with a purple. And back this way. I believe that is four blues. Let me next row. One, two, three. Out on a diagonal two. Again on the diagonal, which is popping out here. Oops, that is supposed to be a purple. Two, three, four. Two blues, two purples. Again on the diagonal, two purples, one purple, one, two blues. Working on the top here, two blues, and come out two more. On the diagonal there, one. A sea lantern here, one, two this way. And we're going to do four purples, one blue, one, two, three purples, purple on the diagonal, two purples, and one blue. Next layer, over the top of the sea lantern like this, over the top of that one, we're going to add in our magenta, two, three, four, two blues, one, two, three purples, and come out, one, two, three, four blues, a blue on the diagonal, and two blues. Okay, here is a blue, a sea lantern, a blue on the diagonal there. That's going to come across four, I believe. Yes, four. Four magentas, three blues, two magentas, come backwards on the diagonal, two magentas, 
again on the diagonal, two purples and one blue. Okay, here on this corner again, two blues, one purple, one, two, three magentas, two blues, one magenta, one, two, three, four, five magentas on the diagonal here, two purples, again a purple, and two blues. Looking back here, up one with a blue, sea lantern, blue, two purples, one, two, three magenta, two blues, one, two, three, four purples on the diagonal, one, two, three blues. Okay, starting at the sea lantern, one, two, three, four blues, one, two, three, four, five um, purples. Working back here with the helper block, two, three, four, five blues. And then last layer here, just connect those together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blues at the top. Let's add your end rods. And here on the top wing, an end rod there, there, and there. Okay. And on the other side, the same locations. Here, here, and here. I did make a tiny little mistake here. I accidentally started my uh, lower wing uh, in, up two instead of on this level here, but I'll go ahead and just uh, edit that in so people don't make the same mistake I did. But anyway, we have finished with the tutorial for the butterfly ship. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It was simple to follow and I had a great time designing and making it for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.